friends today i will discuss the derivation for zero voltage regulation and maximum voltage regulation so let me discuss or remind once again the equivalent circuit of single phase transformer when referred to the secondary side it appears like this so here is the secondary induced voltage es and this is the secondary current is and rs bar means it is the equivalent resistance of the transformer referred to the secondary side that is r1 dash plus r2 then excess bar means it is the equivalent reactance of the transformer referred to the secondary side that is nothing but x1 dash plus x2 then we have the load here the voltage across the load we call it as vs so based on this equivalent circuit we know the voltage regulation formula which is already obtained in the previous class so based on that we try to find out what is the condition for getting the zero voltage regulation similarly for getting the maximum voltage regulation and here we assume that the power factor is lagging in nature with that assumption we have derived the voltage regulation formula so that we use here so voltage regulation is equal to is rs bar cos phi plus is excess bar sin phi divided by vsnl what is meant by vsnl vsnl is nothing but no load secondary terminal voltage or it is also equal to the induced voltage in the secondary winding when voltage is zero when voltage regulation is zero then we have to equate this equation to zero then this is going to transfer to the right side so that becomes zero so then we get is rs bar cos phi plus is excess bar sin phi is equal to zero so if you further simplify we get tan phi is equal to minus rs bar divided by excess bar so what is the meaning of this minus sign minus sign indicates the voltage regulation will become zero only when the load is capacitive load or leading power factor when the power factor is leading so here as i said rs bar means r1 dash plus r2 r1 dash means it is the primary winding resistance when referred to the secondary side r2 is the secondary winding resistance and excess bar means it is is equal to x1 bar x1 dash plus x2 x1 dash means it is the primary winding reactance when referred to the secondary and x2 is the secondary winding reactance so zero voltage regulation occurs when power factor is leading or when the power factor when the load is capacitive in nature so let us go to the another uh, condition when do you get the voltage regulation maximum means voltage regulation maximum means it is worst condition so the voltage regulation formula we know this is the voltage regulation formula which is normally represented with v or v v dot r so to get the maximum voltage regulation this equation graph should become zero regular its uh, slope become zero so when do we get that so it is um, is is fixed rs bar is fixed only the power factor that varies so if you if you differentiate this voltage regulation with respect to the phi means power factor angle then we get the condition for the maximum voltage regulation so voltage regulation will be maximum when d by d phi 
of voltage regulation is equal to zero. That is d by d phi into I s R s bar cos phi plus I s x s bar sin phi is equal to zero. So when you look at this equation, d by d phi of I s R s bar cos phi plus I s x s bar sin phi divided by E two is equal to zero. So where E two is nothing but the secondary induced voltage, which is also equal to the no load terminal voltage. So if we separate this E two with like this. And we differentiate, then we get like this. Minus differentiation of cos phi is nothing but sine phi. Differentiation of sine phi is equal to cos phi. So we get minus I s R s bar sine phi divided by E two plus I s X s bar cos phi divided by E two is equal to zero. So remember here, sometimes the problems will be given. Like this, the percentage of voltage regulation or resistive voltage voltage drop in a transformer is some two percent. Sometimes, similarly, so I S X S bar by E two will be will be given like three percent voltage drop in the reactants. So in that case, we have to use this I S R S bar by E two. Then only we can solve such problem. So, with respect to that, it is mentioned here like this. Then, once we simplify this further, we get tan phi is nothing but X S bar by R S bar. So X S bar by R S bar means here we have the plus sign. so when voltage regulation is maximum then we get tan phi is equal to xs bar by rs bar so here plus sign is coming whereas in the zero power factor, zero voltage regulation there we are getting negative with um, reverse case that is rs bar by xs bar so why we are getting here positive sign the meaning is the maximum voltage regulation will occur only when the load is lagging in nature so then what is good is it maximum voltage regulation good or minimum voltage regulation is good so for transformer load the voltage regulation should be always minimum means there should not be Much difference between the induced voltage in the secondary winding of the voltage and the voltage across the load. So that will happen only when the voltage drop across the winding impedance is zero or minimum. So if the voltage drop in the winding is large. Then the available voltage across the load will be less, so which is not desirable. And many loads, when the load voltage is not meeting the appropriate value, then the loads do not work. Next, let us move to the uh, numerical problem based on this voltage regulation. So look at this: a 2 kVA 400 by 200 volts 50 head single phase transformer has the following parameters referred to the primary side like this. R P bar means it is the resistance of the transformer referred to the primary side. This is the total resistance. So that is. Uh, R1 plus R2 dash. Similarly, XP bar means it is the total reactance of the transformer when referred to the primary side. That is nothing but X1 plus X2 dash. Determine the voltage regulation when full load 
with 0.8 power factor lacking second case full load with 0.8 power factor leading third case at half full load and 0.8 power factor lagging these are the three conditions so at which we have to calculate what is the voltage regulation value so before we solve this problem the first step is we have to find out what is the full load primary current when referred to the primary side remember here the equivalent circuit of the transformer is referred to the primary we have to take so keeping that in view so we know vp ip is equal to, is nothing but rating of the transformer that is 2 kv here so from this step one is to find the what is the current capacity of the primary winding full load current capacity of the primary that is ip is equal to 2000 divided by 400 volts this 400 will indicate the primary winding voltage rating so once we simplify it we get 5 amperes next second step find the half full load primary current so there are two ways to get this one one way is so take the kva rating at half full load that is 1 by 2 into 2000 uh, va divided by primary winding rating voltage that is 400 volts then we get 2.5 amperes there is another way to get it at a half full load is equal to half into full load primary current full load primary current we calculated that is 5 amperes so 1 by 2 into 5 we get 2.5 amperes so once these two currents are ready then we can go to solve the problem this so we know the what is the full load current of the transformer and uh, so similarly we know the half full load current so we use those in the formulas step 3 is voltage regulation at a full load with 0.8 power factor lagging this is the a bit so percentage voltage regulation formula is given by ip rp bar cos phi plus ip xp bar sin phi divided by vp into 100 so we know what is ip that is full load uh, primary current we calculated as 5 amperes and rp bar is already given in the problem itself that is 3 ohms so we write here into power factor is also given that is 0.8 plus ip is 5 and xp bar which is given in the problem that is 4 ohms so into because cos phi is given as 0.8 so we can calculate what is sin phi that is 0.6 divided by voltage rating of the primary winding that is 400 volts then simplify it multiply with 100 then we get 6 percent so next step 4 is what is the voltage regulation at full load with 0.8 power factor leading when the power factor is leading means the formula changes instead of plus here we get negative there so like this percentage of voltage regulation is equal to ip rp bar cos phi minus ip xp bar sin phi divided by vp substitute all the values at full load conditions that is ip is 5 into rp bar 3 into cos phi is 0.8 minus 5 into 4 into 0.6 divided by 400 into 100 so once we simplify this we get zero voltage regulation so we have seen in the formula also zero voltage regulation will occur when power factor is leading in nature that is when the power factor is uh, when the load is capacitive in nature so then step 5 what is the voltage regulation at a half full load under uh, lagging condition so power factor is given full load off full load current also we know so instead of ip here ip value we write here 2.5 into uh, this rp bar is given as 3 power factor is given as 0.8 plus 2.5 that is uh, IP value under off full load condition into XP bar is given in problem that is data that is 4 ohms into 0.6. 
remember here we are putting here plus sign because the power factor is lagging in nature and we derived the formula like this divide with the primary winding voltage rating that is 400 multiply with 100 then we get 3% so we have seen what is the definition of voltage regulation that is no load voltage minus full load voltage divided by no load voltage and we have seen what are the conditions for the zero, zero voltage uh, regulation and what is the condition for the maximum voltage regulation and we have seen whether the voltage regulation zero regulation is good or maximum voltage regulation is good 